So here's how to use Wix AI to create a website. I'm not big on introductions, so let's get started right away. All right, so inside of your account, where you're gonna to wanna to be is up on the all sites section right here, and these are gonna be some websites. And what we wanna do here is simply click on the create new site button right here. So let's do this. And it's gonna open up a new tab and you can bring your ideas to life with AI. Now, ironically enough, this is about using AI to create a website, but I want I don't wanna set up with chat here. We're gonna be using AI to build the website specifically, but you don't need to go about doing it in this specific section and I'll show you why later. All right, so let's do set up without chat. All right, so first, what is your site all about? This is gonna be where we can describe it overall, and it's really gonna depend on what you're doing here, but in this example, I am gonna be doing, say, a portfolio, so I'm gonna click on that, a portfolio showcasing some of my best YouTube thumbnails, okay? This could be anything. It doesn't have to be a portfolio, but simply type in what your website's gonna be all about here. Click on continue. What do you want to call your site? This looks pretty good. I like creative clicks. Let's do that. Or thumbnail oasis. That's kind of similar to marketing island. So I'm going to go with this one. Obviously, if you have your own website that you want to call it, you can do that. If at any time you want to skip, you can do that too. But let's click on continue. All right. So what are your goals for this website? And it's going to have some good suggestions here. I'm just going to do say showcase my best work. Obviously, if someone wants to reach out to me in this example, they can do that. But that's going to be the main thing here. Let's click on continue. All right, so you can add apps to your site to reach your goals. So if you wanted to add a blog, you can do that. There's appointments with booking, stores, events, pricing plans, uh, digital courses. I'm going to keep this as simple as possible. So it says showcase your work with Wix portfolio. That's already going to be built in. So if there's anything else you wanted to add here, you can simply check it off. Okay, so that's up to you based upon your wants and your needs. But go ahead and do that and click on add and continue. All right, we've made it to the dashboard. Now what we want to do is click on design site at the top right. All right, so here's going to be the part where the AI kicks in. Obviously, as you can see, we can customize using a template or we can generate a design with AI. This is where the AI does the heavy lifting. In the beginning, you can use it where I skipped it, but like I said, it's just much easier to enter in some of the minor details after. So let's click on generate a design on the right here. All right, so after giving it some time, as it showcases right here, your site brief and design are ready. This gives an overview of your site's design and content. To edit it, just click on the things you wanna change, like site profile or layout. You'll get a new version every time you make changes. So down below here is gonna be the site profile, where if you wanted to go through, you can click right here. This is gonna be the basic info. This is gonna be the description and contact info. We can edit all this stuff later, so that's pretty straightforward. The site structure is something that you might, might want to focus a little bit more on. So if there's stuff here that you don't really want to add, like say a video gallery, we can get rid of that. Bio services contact. Uh, I think all this is going to be fine. We can do apply changes. And as you can see, it's just going to create another one for you. So give me a moment and I'll get back to you when it's done. All right, so here we are. This is going to be version two. I believe we what we removed isn't going to be there. Uh, but aside from that, it is a little bit less going on, which is fine. We have our site theme right here. This is talking about what it's going to be. Uh, let's give it a second to load before I continue on. All right, so if we wanted to change this, let's keep things simple with a lot of white. Overall, clean and basic. Let's try something like that and let's do this. All right, so I'm creating your website with a basic, simple style. The font is sans serif and it includes generic icons. The primary color is white and it actually is, although it looks like red and, you know, a little bit maroon and so on and so forth. That's just because of the picture right there, but it is much more simpler now. And that's something I like. That's, you know, my preference. This is something that you can change around. And if you ever go through and you want to go through some of the previous versions, you can do that as well. So once you find one that you like, you can actually use it, which is exactly what we want to do. We can click on X or just go back to brief right here. 
And when we are ready to move forward, you simply click on the continue with this design. So that's going to be the process for using AI just to kind of set it up and get the skeleton overall. I'm going to show you how to edit some, you know, things on the pages, make some changes and so on and so forth. But that's like the bulk of the heavy lifting. A lot of this is just going to be editing it to your liking so you can change around the colors, maybe some of the pages and the sections. And something like this is just a picture which we can edit very easily. So once again, once you are done, simply click on to continue with this design. Your mileage might vary depending on what you're looking for, but feel free to do a few versions just to see which one you like best. All right, so if we go from top to bottom here, this is going to be the header section where if you wanted to change this around, you can click here, thumbnail oasis. That's going to be obviously the little logo right here, which is going to be vector art. These are going to be the sections here. So home, welcome about services and portfolio. As we move down here, we have our welcome section. We can click on change background. And this is going to be where we can actually use an image here. And here we can actually upload media if needed. We can go to, I believe there's some free ones here. Let's say I'm going to search for island. Just go with the marketing island vibe here. Just to put something in that so looks a little bit better. We do change background. There you go. That's just an example. If you wanted to use something like that and change it around, a lot of these things are going to be business as usual, YouTube thumbnails that get the click, something like that. Okay. This is going to be a little bit more right here. Explore a curated showcase of stunning thumbnails that reflect our passion for graphic design. See more is going to be the button right there. Let's scroll down visual excellence in design. Once again, a lot of the things, if you do want to change them, simply double click it. And obviously you can go about doing that. With that being said, I'm not going to go around and change a lot of this random text here because it's pretty much going to be in line with whatever it is that you want. Now, for some odd reason, you didn't want this section. What you can do is click here. You can right click and there's going to be a delete just like this. There we go. Just had to give it a moment and you can bring it back. Okay. Our creative offerings. So this is going to be what you're offering in terms of say design, consultation, delivery. Once again, if anything you wanted to change here, image, you know how to do with changing an image. This is going to be text and this is just going to be the bottom part. So let me actually show you here. Let's say you did want to change this. This is going to be your email. So let's say this was your email, whatever it's going to be right now, what we can do is link and we can do email and you can just do right here info at mysite.com. Oops. If I can spell it right, I guess it doesn't matter. It's just an example. Hey, about your services. Okay. So what happens is when you link it like that, when someone clicks on it, it'll open up their email, you know, whatever they're using, where you can actually send that to you specifically. That's one way about doing it. You can also link to a contact page, right? This is going to be all business as usual. If you have a privacy policy or anything else, once again, highlight this right here. And this is going to be how you can link anything. Simply click on links right here. If you have a privacy policy page, that's perfect. Say if you wanted to go to a separate one, you can go to a web address right here. Type it in. I would recommend doing a new window just so if someone's on this page reading, they don't kind of mess up their flow of what they're doing. Okay. So that's going to be top to bottom here. What I want to do is just simply click on save and just kind of show you what it's going to look like. That's fine. Just an example. I'm going to do preview right here. And so you can get an idea about what it's going to look like and where things go. So if they click right here, this is the main call to action. You're going to see it's going to go to my portfolio. And this is something we're definitely going to want to edit because this is a big deal, right? We have welcome here, which is pretty much the same as home, right? So we could probably remove one of those. We have about, which is going to scroll down right here. We have services, which is going to scroll down right here. And of course we have portfolio, which we just clicked on. So that's the cool thing about this website is that these are specifically like just going to be all on one page. And it's mostly just the portfolio that you're going to want to edit. If you decide to go this route, right? Even if you're not doing a portfolio, you could do a website very similar in terms of everything is going to be here on the front page. This is going to be your main goal, whatever it is, like maybe it's going to be contacting you, reaching out to you, watching a webinar, filling out a strategy session form, right? Maybe getting someone on a call, whatever it's going to be. You just want to make sure you know what your main goal is. And it can also be right there. Okay. Instead of portfolio, you can substitute that page with anything else that you might want to do. Go back to editor. 
And I'm just gonna spend some time with the portfolio section. So as you can see here, add elements, add sections, and we have pages and menu. So if we go right here, we can click on portfolio right here. This will allow us to edit our portfolio section. And once again, if you want to edit the specific text right here, uh, this is gonna be this right here. Same thing, clicking on it, editing it, changing it, and so on and so forth. Now, this is gonna be the actual portfolio section. What you wanna do is click anywhere right here and do manage projects. All right, and so choose all the types of work you'd like to showcase. Let's say it's gonna be web design and graphic design for this one. Could be branding too if needed, but that's fine. Let's do next. Um, you can upload from computer. Give me one moment. I'm just gonna get a few from uh, my thumbnail. So one second. All right, so I uploaded two images right here. I'm gonna do generate projects. All right, smiling man video reviews. Let's just do something like software reviews. And this would be something similar to these thumbnails are about, you know, dot, 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 software reviews, you know, thumbnails and so on and so forth that have done well in terms of getting clicks and turning them into customers. Just something like that with the portfolio. Let's do create portfolio right here. All right, and just like that, we're going to have some uh, software reviews in now under my portfolio, looks fine. And what I'm gonna do is just X out right here. And as you can see, now it's going to show up right there. So what I can do is click on save. And also, oh, don't show this again, that's fine. I do wanna show you how to publish it. I have done a Wix video in the past and someone once asked, hey, how do I publish my website? And maybe I thought it was too obvious, but or maybe I just forgot, but I do wanna show you right here, publish. So when you are done, you can actually use it. And what I'm gonna do is just view the website. We're pretty much done with a lot of the basics that you need to do. Obviously you can go back and tweak things, but let's take a look at it right here. All right, so here we are, Thumbnail Oasis, YouTube thumbnails that get the click. And as we scroll down, this is gonna be where you can see more. This is gonna go straight to the portfolio. And down below is gonna be, uh, I forgot what this was, the welcome about and services aspect right here, tailored for you. And these are very easy to change too, right? These are just images. These are gonna be like the main things that you offer. And these are this is just text that you edit. And as you scroll down, it's gonna have the thing where it kind of like shows up, which is nice to catch attention. We did link to a privacy policy, you know, which is gonna be blank. If you want to get sent an email, you can do that, which is very easy to do. But the most important thing here is gonna be the portfolio. Let's click right here. And I only added one section, but if you wanted to add more, you can do the same exact thing that I did. You're just going to repeat the process. So I'm going to click right here. As you can see, when you hover over, it showcases software reviews. All right, so these thumbnails are about, and as you can see, one's going to be bigger. One's going to be a little bit smaller there. You can click on this in case you want to make it bigger. There we go. I'm going to go back. And that's going to be the portfolio section. Let's go to the top and click on home. And that's going to conclude this tutorial about how you can use AI to create a Wix website for free. I hope you got some value out of this. And if it did help you, be sure to give the video a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. My goal for this was just to pretty much walk you through getting up and running in terms of the setup. I understand that your website might be different. And even if you're not doing a portfolio website, ideally you can do the same thing here where your homepage features the welcome about and services page. And then your main goal is going to be right here, which is your portfolio. And ideally this would link to your main goal as well. So that when someone arrives there, you know exactly what you want out of your website. Do you want to get clients? Do you want to make le generate leads? Do you want to have someone reach out to you, go to a webinar, make a purchase and so on and so forth. And with all that being said, I truly do hope that this helps you out. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.